Hey, so I'm going to show you an example of some steganography. So I've uh, I put some messages in these two images. Uh, this first one right here. We'll save it and we'll call it Twitter flag. And then this one here from Inger. Oh no. Come on. There we go. And we will the image, save it. We'll call this um, pain. Cool, cool. So now that we have uh, both of the images here. We can actually swap out. So I'm going over to Photoshop now. And we will open up Twitter flag and the So with um with the the images sometimes, you know. You can run them through the various different programs, Steg Detect and, and all that stuff. And it might not tell you you have anything. It might say, nope, I don't see anything. But sometimes you need to inspect the images um, in other ways by hand, I guess you could say. And one of the ways that you do that is you would open it up in uh, Photoshop or GIMP or some other kind of image editor. And what I generally do first is I'll get like a, a crazy color like some, I don't know, some bright green or whatever like this. And then I will go to my paint bucket tool and I will just start basically painting in all of the stuff that looks like solid color. So I would just end up hitting, okay, it's green, it's green, it's green. Uh, so maybe something's right over here, right? When we zoom back in on this stuff, we see here is a message you can maybe find. Okay, so obviously, if you just keep going, see what else. Uh, not quite as easy to make out, but I can tell you what it is based on who obviously did it. <laughs> Me, uh, you get a WWG1 WGA, and then this is an at symbol underscore Luke underscore Sly Talker. So, again, you wouldn't be able to tell if you just looked at the image. Let's go way, way back. Just looking at it, even if I zoom in, you can't see where any of those letters were in here. I don't think I do, but you know, put that in. We see them. There should be some letters right here. Do you see them? I get right. On one of the, ooh, on one of the letters, and you don't get um, fill all around if you just like click on an area and hey, you get them. You know, you don't get a fill all around, even though it looks like you should. Sometimes that's uh, an indication that yeah, I ought to go to an edge or a corner, try to fill it in, and see again if there's some kind of message. So again, we found the messages in here. Let's look at the other file that we had. And that one is this uh, skull picture right here. So first thing I always do, of course, let's get a crazy color green out. Cool, already got it. And I'm just gonna fill in. So I don't see anything that comes up immediately. Um, honestly, it's the best, it's a good idea to then pick a different color than green to also check with. Okay, cool. I didn't see anything different. So 
go back to green just because I like green. Now, let's try it with skull stuff. So we'll go to an edge, and then we'll click in there, and okay, we get a weird little spot. Let's try another area. Um, truth be told, sometimes edges around very different colors, so from a black to a white, you know, that's as, as, <laughs> as contrasting as you can get. Uh, the edges have some issues sometimes, so sometimes the edge will, will be a liar, but in that case, go inside a little further. And there, we do see that it looks like we got something maybe around here. Definitely looks like there's something in here, so let's zoom in on that stuff. First, we'll do this, and, and again, because you know who's embedding the stuff, you can kind of make a leap to figure out what it says. This looks like an at sign, underscore, Luke, underscore, slide talker. Wouldn't be able to tell, though, if you didn't know who you were looking for. And then this stuff. Again, you can kind of make out maybe a few things that it says, but not super easy. Again, you can probably figure out that's Luke slide talker. That's something else, and that's another Twitter handle. Who knows? But go back a little bit. Uh, Let's take out that. So when this doesn't work and you don't want to have to try to like take a letter by hand to fill in like that, you can instead try to mess with the levels of the image. So this is another thing that I do sometimes. Um, this is mostly PNG work, by the way. I don't generally do this on a JPEG. Uh, it's not to say that you can't or you wouldn't. It's just... Um, there's, there's just too much stuff to do, and, and I don't have time for that. Um, so that's why I'm showing you guys how to do it, so you guys can all do it. So again, I'll grab the levels, and I'll just start dragging them to one side and see if I get any change. You can see something real faint, right? Really, really faint, really, really faint over here. So let's keep dragging those in. Yeah, now we get a whole message. So let's go like this. Let's zoom in a little bit. Okay, sure, why not? Sly talker, of course. And again, you can see all this like gobbly gook around the edges or around uh, where again contrasting colors are going to happen. This is stuff that's to be expected, except especially when you go uh, as extreme as I did with the level change. But um, if you put something contrasting or slightly off in the middle of some white area or some different color, or sorry, I mean some similar color, then you shouldn't get as crazy of artifacting. So again, you're able to see this message here. Are you following me on Twitter? You should if you want to see some interesting, entertaining, and educational content. Luke Sly Talker at Sean Ree Connery, R E C O N N E R Y. And the Mr. Magical Sorcery. So, again, um, you found a message, awesome, great. But that's not always a guarantee that that's the only thing in there. So, because we go one way with the levels, again, last time we grabbed the levels and went all the way over to the right side to reveal that message. Maybe we need to try the other way, too. Just always to uh, do your due diligence. Something's starting to appear down here in the eye. <laughs> so you can see a little wizard hat that I put in here with some ASCII. Um, again, you never know if you've gotten it all unless you check all the other methods you can think of. There's still a bunch of different things and ways that things could be embedded in here. But again, these are just two... Um, two images that I use some, some color changing on to, uh, to get, a, get a thing in there. And again, the way that you would do this if you were going to embed the message yourself would be get a color that's really close to the color that you're going to use. So if we're going to put something right here in this cheekbone area, I'll write a message first. 
exactly but we just want to be off by just a shade just just a hair basically so um, in hex values it would be a b c d e f so f e f e f you would hide it that might be a little too close of a color though uh, especially when you take into consideration uh, where you're uploading it uh, you saw the difference be between putting one on twitter and putting one on Ember. Um, sometimes the compression from one social media website or what have you, one social media platform, uh, will uh, cause issues with the colors. They'll basically say, is it is it within this range? Okay, screw it. We're going to make them all white. If it's close enough, they'll basically just make it white. So I don't want to do that. I want to make sure it's just far enough apart that they'll keep it the right color or that at least they'll keep it a different color than the rest of it. Uh, but still a color that isn't totally uh, perceptible to the human eye. So again, I'll just say FC, FC, FC. That is pretty darn close. You can't really see it that well. But again, if you were to save this and then do the levels on it, you would then see that, oh no, there's something different there. Because again, I can take this on here and decide to go... And again, now you can see where the message was. Um, that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was educational. So uh, 